Hi everyone, this is Lady Die Saves, and this is my weekly wallet cash stuffing. You're gonna hear some noise. I hear airplanes going on outside. I hope nobody starts mowing their lawn, but Farm Boy and Cheyenne are also doing math right now, and they can get a little loud sometimes. <laughs> but now's the time I have to do this video, so I'm going to do it. Let's start with counting the money. This is for my savings challenge. I was prepared. So let's bring in my cash tray and let's count this big old money fan. Look at that. All right, that was for my screenshot. <laughs> so we have 100 plus 20, 40, 60, 80, 200. I either have to count it or use that. Okay, I want to count this. 20, 40, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 367, my usual amount. I'm going to set that on top for now. No, I won't. I'll put it right back here. I'm bumping things. Okay, I'm going to get all situated. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> Let's open and count my change. So let's open this up and count my change. Where is my money counter? My change. Guess what I didn't get. Oh my goodness. I gotta go get my change counter, you guys. I'll be right back. Okay, here it is. I'm back. So we have one, 50, 55, 60, 70, 80, Oh, these are all ones. Oh my goodness. 82, 84, 86, 88, 90, 92, 94, 96, 98, 100, 1. So that's $1, $2, and 1 cent. Okay, let's write that in my Tracy Monster tracker and in my, on a post-it note. So I do not forget, get my handy dandy notebook. I love this little thing. It holds all my post-it notes. It's so cute and I don't remember where I got it. <laughs> this one's running out. This is my little post-it note just for this purpose and it's running out, you guys. Okay, this is week 25 and that was two dollars and one cent. Quarters, nickels, dimes, pennies. We have four, six quarters, no nickels, three dimes, and two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 21. 21 pennies. Now I write this on here just because I like to keep a track a lack. I like to track. I will stick it in here where I have all my tracking for my nickels, quarters, dimes, and pennies. But I will write the two dollar and one cent right here on this Tracy Monster tracking your change. Two dollars and one cent. And I colored this one from last week. Turned out kind of pretty. Let me move this. And let's put the change in my change jar now. Gotta wake her up. Okay, one, two, three. There we go. And I will fast forward this part. Okay, $44.19, but I dropped a penny on the floor, so it's actually $44.20. <laughs> After the video, I'll go find that penny. 
All right, so I will color that in next week, before next week, hopefully. I will color in my pennies before next week, but we will do the Coin Savings Challenge workbook together. <laughs> I like doing this one. This is made by Amanda's Budgets. Super fun coin savings workbook. Let me grab some of my colors here. I like putting the neon colors in this one. How's your week going? Happy Monday. Guess what, guys? I just posted <laughs> last week's very late cash wallet stuffing video this morning. <laughs> it feels so weird to do this one right now. So we have 201. So let's see what we've got here. Let's just stay on this page so I don't have to flip all over the place. Let's take away 48 cents. And that's a dollar fifty-three. So let's color in one of these. Yeah, with everything going on, I was just so so busy. I did not even tell you guys something that went on. Um, let's see. Let's just do another forty-eight cents. Take away forty-eight equals a dollar five. So on Monday, well, it all happened so quick, you guys. I just happened to be looking at, at houses. I don't want this one. I need a pink. Where's a pink? Here's a pink. Pink, green, and a blue. I need a blue. Where's my neon blue? Do I even have a neon blue? I don't know. I'll just pick a different blue. Let's see. This looks like a nice blue. Okay, let's take out 48 cents again. Take away 48 equals. Okay, so last Saturday, I just happened to be looking, not not this last Saturday from when you see this video, the Saturday before that, so two Saturdays ago, I just happened to be looking at Zillow just to see what was out there. It had been months since I have looked. This is not the blue I want. That's not even blue, it's kind of a green. Let's try that one. All right, I'm interrupting myself again. <laughs> Take away 48 equals, ooh, nine cents. So I was looking and I show, I sent, so I look at it and then I send Farm Boy links to his phone and, the, and a message. And is there a nine? There's a five, there's an eight, there's a 10. Let's do eight, go lower. Eight, that leaves, I don't need to do that. That leaves two cents. But that's okay because we like to be over rather than under. So let's color in an eight. So anyway, yeah, when we look on Zillow, I will send Farm Boy links to them. And so I sent them, there were a couple houses that had more square footage, about 2,000 square feet, and they were in the like 500,000 range, a little over, but this is a little high than what we want. But this area, there's nothing, nothing, you guys. So I send them those, and then there was some I found, but they were, I mean, we could do it, but we'd have to get rid of a lot of stuff. Then I sent them some that were like in the 400, they were close to 500,000, but they were in the 400 something range. And, but those ones are only like 12, 13, 1400 square feet, which is kind of small for us. Wait, I'm gonna need Big Mama. And thought nothing of it. We're like, yeah, yeah, okay, that's interesting. Some of the house prices are coming down. Didn't think anything of it. Then on Sunday, I went, some people, without giving too much information, there's some people I message on Facebook. And that's my way of messaging them. And so I went to message someone on Facebook and I did that on Sunday, and while I was there, <laughs> you know, when you get on Facebook, it brings up things and shows you things. Well, I saw the our city of Battleground, Washington has a Facebook group, and I saw a picture of one of the houses I looked at the previous day. And so it caught my eye, and I read it, and it was all about how it was they were selling it with an assumable loan at 2.75 interest rate, you guys. 
So I showed Farm Boy, I don't even know anything. I was like, is that good? And he's like, yeah, that's really good. Cause I guess it's up in the seven percentage for interest rates right now for houses. So it was worth calling our realtor and seeing if we could take a look at it. And that is exactly what we did. Monday, we went and looked at a house. And the, Monday is the usual day I edit and get my cash stuffing video up. So that is one reason. We did not, I did not get my cash stuffing video up last week because we were looking at a house and guess what? We actually made an offer on it. So we were looking at a house. I've got my, I'm also in the middle of my huge 1K giveaway and all sorts of other things. So I am having the hardest time getting videos up and I probably will continue to have the hardest time for the rest of this month, but I'm going to do my best, you guys. So we did look at the house. We liked it. One issue that I saw on the Facebook of this person who was posting this house in previous posts on her uh, in the Facebook group, she was asking, "How do you, what do people do around this town for standing water? And she showed a picture of the backyard where it was like a swamp after it rained. And so that was like a red flag. We do not want to have a backyard that's a swamp when it rains because it rains a lot here in the Pacific Northwest. Um, that being said, the area we live, it does happen a lot. It's not uncommon here. It's not unusual. Um, a lot of people have French drains. So that was like a big thing we had to look at. And so we went and looked at the house. It was nice. Nothing seemed wrong with it. It was kind of beat up. What Farm Boy and I, what we would call a kid dog house. <laughs> it wasn't, you know, in the greatest shape. The things weren't very updated, but they weren't bad either. It was a pretty good house. Um, so we, we did um, end up making an offer on it and it was quite late in the evening that we got that done. So the whole day was focused on this house. So we made the offer, but they did not accept it. And so that was a bummer. So I just wanna let you guys know, we are still <laughs> getting our feelers out there and seeing what's out there and we almost, could have maybe bought a house except it was obviously not the Lord's will we did pray a lot that the Lord would protect us from making a huge mistake if it was not his will because you guys this is so difficult for us to make decisions that we don't have time to think because we do not work that way we like to especially farm boy like to really think about things before we make decisions and so in the endeavor of buying a house these days you don't have time to think if there's something that is a good deal or a good opportunity you have to act and so there's a lot of prayer in fact farm boy had a sleepless night monday night just praying that the, the lord's will would be done so we accept that we didn't get it as the lord's will um we did have an opportunity to keep our bid if or offer whatever it's called if the other people didn't work out, but we even decided not to do that because we we're just very unsure and still had no time to think. Like here's an example. If per se, Farm Boy's dad, who's turning 90 next month, might have to live with us someday, this is not a house he could live with us because all of the bedrooms are upstairs. So things like that where you need more time to think about all the ramifications <laughs> so we decided not to keep our bid but we did I mean our offer but we did say please let us know because we might submit another offer so there's that that was something huge that happened the past week that I wanted to tell you about you guys because it was major and that's why you haven't seen me <laughs> posting any videos all week I just I am just wow I'm just so busy all right guys you probably all guess this I am not only empty nothing to unstuff here I'm $51 in the hole $51 IOU to farm boy I kind of figured that would come because if you saw my last weekly stuffing I did not get a chance to go shopping so my money went into savings and really I needed to go shopping I can't remember if I spent this yes I did 
don't remember what I spent that on and I didn't track it, so I don't know. It probably went to gross. Oh yeah, that's what I did. I just pulled from here to try to make up as much as I could in my groceries. That's what it was. Okay, so household stays like in my wallet like a sinking fund. Some was, um, I think some was, some was spent in there from last week, but I can't remember. But anyway, personal stays in my wallet like a sinking fund. This feels empty. It's not empty, but oh yeah, we spent that because I went shopping with Cheyenne. Clothing stays in my wallet like a sinking fund. Goodwill gets unstuffed, and I did go to Goodwill. And look, I got a dollar. <laughs> One dollar. I actually spent this. I, oh, I know what I did because I went to Goodwill yesterday, and I have two things to show you from going. And it added up so much that I didn't have enough money to pay for it, because there's only a dollar in Goodwill, I had to use my shopping money. So I spent $13 of my shopping money at Goodwill. And so this should have been a part of it, but now it is, see, boom. <laughs> so five, six, seven, eight, eight dollars from Goodwill and shopping envelopes. And look what I found at Goodwill. I just had to get this for Farm Boy. Two reasons, I thought it was cute what it said, Mr. Right. And I like the size of it. I, you probably can't tell. I mean, you don't know how big my hands are, but it's a smaller cup, which is funny for a man why they would make a small cup, but Farm Boy likes to drink tea. And if you're a tea drinker, you probably know if your cup is too big, your tea is gonna be really watered down because those tea bags are only for like little eight ounces. And usual cups are bigger than that. They're more like, 10 ounces I think so this was a perfect size and when farm boy saw it he's like does that mean I'm always right or I'm like Mr. Right like you're Mr. Right <laughs> and I said like you're my Mr. Right that's what it means and then I saw these this super cute it was in the package I took it out and washed them already this has a little opening here and you stick it on the side of your pot or pan that has a lid so that you can prop your lid up on this a bit and let steam out because you know like when you're cooking and you like move it over and prop it it's just a cute little way to prop up your pots I you guys I am a sucker for the kitchen aisle I love kitchen gadgets I am a total sucker for kitchen gadgets I am on the hunt at Goodwill for a chicken shredder I went to go look and see on Amazon. There were 20 bucks, you guys, and I could not do it. I looked three times trying to make myself do it, but I can't spend 20 bucks on a little plastic ch chicken shredder. But it's this circle, and then it has pokey things coming up, and you put your chicken breast on it, and then you put a lid on it with two handles, and you go, eh, 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 and then you lift up the lid, and boom, your chicken's all shredded perfectly for you. I think that is the neatest chicken gadget, chicken gadget, <laughs> kitchen gadget, and I really want it, but I can't, um, I got to get my business binder. Squirrel, I'm reaching over here getting my business binder, guys. Uh, I can't, I just can't pay 20 bucks. I need to find one at Goodwill. So I've been praying that I would, and I've been looking every time I go. And But the problem is when I look for something specific, Sometimes the Lord answers my prayer and puts it there for me, but I don't usually spend a lot of time in the kitchen aisle lately at Goodwill. I usually spend it over in the games. Oh, that's another thing I have to show you. Where did I put it? Where did I put it? Squirrel again. Okay, I found it. Okay, so what was I saying? Um, I forgot what I was saying, you guys. Well, anyway, I don't usually spend time in the kitchen aisle oh that's what I was saying because I'm over off with the games trying to find neat dice or unique dice or unique games for my YouTube channel <laughs> um so when I am on the kitchen aisle I find stuff like those little chickens that I didn't really need for $2.99 so yeah anyway so that's a story so here's the other thing I stopped at a garage sale my first garage sale this year and it was so so nice to have a garage sale look it's right here you guys look I have to show you I have to show you no wait is this yeah this is my garage sale this 
days. This is the money that I save for garage sales in my sinking funds. And I keep it in the back of my wallet. And now I have money when I go to a garage sale, even if I've spent all my money on Goodwill or other things. Do you know how happy that makes me? It makes me so happy. So I was at a garage sale and I found some neat stuff. I found a game and it was a, not a game that I would like at all. It was kind of a creepy looking game. But I found these polyhedral dice in the game. So I bought the game only for the dice. <laughs> so there's one, two, three, four, five, six polyhedral dice. And I don't know if you can see, they're just a really pretty shimmery blue color. They're so pretty. So I bought those dice and I know this isn't the best to do. You can get like all sorts of nasty stuff, but she had really inexpensive makeup and it was nice and it was barely touched. I opened them, I looked at them and like the blush, it was like one was touched just a little bit. So I'm not going to worry about it. I know I probably shouldn't do that, but I did. It was only a dollar for two big things of one blush, one um, eyeshadow. Eyeshadow, I meant, is what was barely touched. And two smaller things of eyeshadow for 50 cents. I mean, you can't beat that, you guys. So, yeah, I went to a garage sale and I got those. I talk a lot on uh, cash stuffing videos. That's probably why they're 40 minutes long most of the time. Did I spend this money? No, I have my full $40 and we are separating it so a $10 bill doesn't hide like that, like the last time. And I wonder where on earth is $10 from this envelope? So when I don't spend it, the miscellaneous 20 goes over here and the online 20 goes into my Amazon and Etsy envelopes for saving for when I want to spend on Amazon and Etsy. So let's move over here. And so Amazon will get, oh, what is the date today? It is the 17th, 617 deposit 10. That would be, let's see, we're passing 100, so I'm not sure. 90 would be 107. 97 plus 10 equals, yes, it would. I figured it out. Ah, okay, here, where am I going? Here, 107. So I put the 10 in and I counted for you and me. 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 5, 6, 7. Okay, I'm gonna ch exchange these. I'm going to exchange these for the $100 bill. 20, 40, 50, 60, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. There we go. Nice and condensed. One, five, six, seven. Okay. Um, I do, I have spent some of this. I haven't taken it out yet. I have little notes for myself over here but I'm waiting because I want it to come out of this money. So, and when will I be able to do that? That, oh, wait, I still need this. That is a question I don't know at the moment, but it will happen. It's just on the back burner. Okay, so this, 617, and this is Etsy. I recently spent on Etsy. 43, so that would be 53. 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53. Let's condense this too. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I just like to condense. I don't know why. And we got a bunch of 10s. 10, 20, 30, 40. Let's do 40. Two 20s, 20, 40, 53. There we go. I love watching this build up. It's, it's just amazing. This whole system is amazing. I mean, I just spent a lot of money on Etsy, 
recently. I mean, a lot of money for me. It was like 40 some dollars. And bada bing, bada boom, it's already up there. It's building up. All right, so let's put this back in here. And plants stays like a sinking fund. And greens, I did not get any greens. We had some in the freezer. And I haven't been eating them. I just, my, I've ruined my taste buds for the greens. I need to start eating them again because they're healthy for me. So this $10 bill goes back to Farm Boy. It does not go in my savings. He gives it for me, gives it to me to ensure that we have enough money for greens, even though groceries are super expensive. Just, you know, just so that I don't feel like I have to take it out of here and cut back. And he's just so accommodating in that way that's very nice of him because groceries are so expensive and i spend all my groceries anyway so that's the ten dollars for farm boy i'm gonna set that off to the side and how much do we have out of my wallet 10 25 26 27 28 yikes only 28 dollars oops i forgot to do this you guys i'll do this only 28 dollars today this week 20 eight that's what i just said right 25 six, seven, eight. yes okay let's pause let's take a pause and backtrack because i forgot to do my savings challenge this is my tracy monster tracker and in my cash stuffing video i just like to stuff my dollar and do my tracy monster savings challenge one dollar a week for 52 weeks at the end of the year i will have 52 buckaroos that i would not have normally had if i didn't save it so let's color this bright orange right here i love tracy monsters trackers and savings challenges she has some beautiful like game board ones they're so pretty she's so creative go check out tracy monster savings on etsy and then let's stuff my dollar. This binder is getting old, you guys. I found it at Goodwill to begin with, but I'm wearing it out myself. Look how it's all worn out on the thing there. It's such a pretty color though. I love the color. I don't even know what you would call it. Seafoam green or something. Okay, where are we? Here we are. 52 week, $1 savings. So we should have $25, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Let's condense 25. And why is my stuff all messed up over here? There's like 20s over here, 10s over here. I must have done that when I condensed the other things. There we go. I think that's right now. So $25 now in my $1 savings, 52 week $1 savings from Tracy Monster Savings. This is, I love doing these small savings challenges because they're just sneaky. They have to sneakily add up. And before you know it, you've got a good chunk of money. Okay, let's stuff you guys. $157 going in to no it's not this is where i did the boo-boo so we're gonna have to do some fancy work here you guys this is gonna be fancy i might have to call farm boy in because you know lady die doesn't do fancy work with numbers okay so i have 157 dollars i stuff each week in my wallet for groceries so 157 but i have to take away 51 that I still owe Farm Boy. That leaves 106. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. I'm gonna get the 157 and then pay Farm Boy. 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 56, 57. Now I'm going to get the 51. Oh, I need this to be a two ones. I do know what I'm doing, I think. I think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> All right, so this should be 157. 20, 40, 60, 80, 110, 
20, 30, 40, 50, 5, 56, 57. And I owe Farm Boy 51. So we got 20, 30, 40, 51. So that would leave me with 106, um, Pinky tells me. 106 is the actual that I stuffed. 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 100, 5, 6. Okay, that's correct. And now let me put that on my tracker before I forget. Where is my tracker? There it is. So today is the 17th. Wrong pen. Deposit 106. And that is gone and paid. Scribble that out. And I'm starting with 106. I better eat from the cupboards. I better eat those cupboards from the cupboards. So we've got 51 going to Farm Boy. That will go over with the 10 over here. So now I need to take 157. Oh, that's negative 51. I don't need to do the calculator because I remember it was $51. There, I did it, you guys. <laughs> I did some fancy stuff there. Fancy pants. All right, so eating out, yep, that needs to be stuffed because I spent it on groceries, actually, not on eating out. So $10 going into my eating out envelope. And household, household will get its usual eight. Yes, I did spend this last week. So eight and 16 plus eight is 16, oh, not minus, 16 plus eight equals 24. 24 plus eight. Deposit six seventeen. Yeah, I spent I spent five dollars at Walmart on something, three dollars on dish soap. So I've been spending some of this money. So we have eight dollars going in. Five, six, seven, eight. So we have ten. I am really fumbly this video. <laughs> ten, fifteen, twenty. 22, 23, 24, $24, and I'm not condensing it. I just want to be done with this envelope. I, that was so fumbly. I'm done being fumbling. I'm done fumbling. <laughs> I'm leaving it. Okay, personal. Personal will get its usual five, and I think this is kind of depleted, yeah, because I bought some stuff for Cheyenne this last week. So $10 left in here and we will stuff its usual five and it was a little spendy six 17 deposit five so we've got 15 in here now okay $15 in personal and it will build back up if we stop spending it <laughs> each week $10 in clothing. And I think I bought some clothes at Goodwill for Cheyenne. I think it was this last week. Yes, it was. I bought a lot of clothes this past week. So we bought a couple things, a shirt at Costco for Cheyenne. <gasps> Guess what? I found the socks. I found the socks and they were on sale. The socks were on sale, finally. Do you know how long I've been waiting for those socks to be on sale, you guys? Oh my goodness, I was so excited that the socks were on sale. I got my K-Bell socks, $10 going into clothing. And so we went to Goodwill and Cheyenne found two skirts, two sweaters or three, I can't remember. And oh my goodness, I should get them and show you in the this video. She looked for ankle boots and we found a pair of brown leather, waterproof le leather, nice not sporty but nice that she can wear to church with her, her dresses um, Tiva boots guess what they are 60 some dollar boots and we got them it was a lot for goodwill for me but 
because they were so expensive, I went ahead and did it. There were 20 bucks at Goodwill. That was amazing, you guys. Uh, such a good find. And then we also found like Dr. Scholl's boots. Nothing real special. I think they're regularly $30 boots. And those were like eight or something like that. Or I don't know. They were around eight or 10. Okay, what am I doing? I'm putting 10 in. So 68 plus 10 is 78. <clears throat> so we have 20, 40, 60, 75, 76, 77, 78. So yeah, we have found a lot of good clothes and Cheyenne wore her outfit and she looked so pretty to church. And she does not like wearing anything but jeans. So I was really happy to see her wear a skirt and a nice sweater and she just looked beautiful. Cheyenne, can you go get the your boots that we just bought so I can show everybody? Show my friends. Goodwill. My favorite envelope. 20 bucks going to Goodwill. And it will be going to Goodwill. <laughs> 20 bucks. I'm not even, I told you guys, you know, last year I tried my best to save all my Goodwill money. This year, with all the goings on, I do need to update this. I, I'm just not, I'm not, I'm just not, you guys, I'm not saving it. I'm actually going to Goodwill and enjoying my time there. And you know, sometimes that's okay. You just have to do that. And that goes out. You know, we save this money to spend it sometimes. And this year, maybe not next year, and maybe not even the whole of the year this year, this year I am spending the money on Goodwill. Okay, so here are her boots. Look at these. <laughs> You guys, they're gorgeous. They are just beautiful. And they're like brand new condition. They were hardly ever worn. I don't know if they were ever worn. They're like perfectly clean. <laughs> beautiful pair of boots. 20 bucks for these. And they're over $60 new. And they were her size. <laughs> I can't even believe it. And then this was the other pair. She likes the ankle boots. This was the other pair. Really nice pair are they leather I have to smell them I don't know if they're leather this one was eight dollars seven ninety nine oh right here all man made in China okay so these are not leather that's why they were seven ninety nine I guess but aren't they nice they're perfect again brand new perfect condition Dr. Scholl's short ankle boots so anyway we got Cheyenne. It was like the shopping for Cheyenne week. She got makeup. She got clothes. And she needed it. She needs it every once in a while. Some attention. Because oftentimes my attention is spent here on YouTube and other things. So, yeah. So 17 and this one is shopping. Shopping will get its usual 20 and I do need to update it. And now it has 20. And we have to have two tens because I'm out of $20 bills over here with all my condensing. So $20 in shopping. We actually put 20 in there and now $40 in miscellaneous and I don't need to update the tracker because I never spent any 10 20 30 40 and I'm gonna need farm boy for this fancy work we've got some fancy work right here with this negative 51 and the negative 10 that I have so 44 miscellaneous and online now plants stays in my wallet like a sinking fund I'm telling you guys, I'm kind of done with plants for now. I think it's because my house is so messy and cluttered. I have got to do a humongous purge and spring cleaning. I just feel like the walls are closing in on me. I used to be the type that did my dishes every single night. There was never a dirty dish in my sink. I did them after every meal. I will literally just throw the dishes in the sink from breakfast till dinner and then wash them after dinner. Sometimes after I relax after dinner, after we watch our little videos be right before bed because I don't know why. There's something wrong with me. I've changed. I've changed in a lot of ways. 
since my son died last December, you guys. And this is one way that's not so good because my house is really getting messy and it's not good. I spent some time cleaning this little room. This little room is horrible because it's got all our homeschool books, all our office stuff, <clears throat> all my sewing stuff, and my entire Goodwill, not Goodwill, my entire YouTube existence. <laughs> so I gotta clean this room. Okay, greens. Greens gets its normal 10. I'll stick that in there. So yeah, why did I even talk about that? I don't know. My house is a mess, you guys, and I've got to clean it. I've got to get organized. After my 2K giveaway, I'm going to spend some time getting organized. Okay, so, and I need to go visit my daughter too. I might, after I ship everything from my 1K giveaway that's happening right now, and I've got almost everything from every, everyone's addresses, almost everyone, and I've already shipped some things, and I have about seven or eight ready today. I, it is going so smooth, and I don't even know how. I don't know how I made it so smooth, but the way I'm doing it made it go so smooth. <laughs> I'm so thankful for that. It hasn't been stressful at all. So I'm shocked about that, and I'm so thankful about it. Um, I had a lot more international winners than I thought, so that's one thing that was not planned out well because that is going to be really expensive, you guys. I have two Euro, two in United Kingdom, Europe, one in Scotland, and one in Africa. That was fun. Um, so yeah, I might have to change things a little bit for my next giveaway if I fall over when I find out how much it costs. Well, actually, Farm Boy will fall over. I'm happy to pay it for you guys because I love you guys, but but I can't be doing that often. I mean, if it's like one big one, like 1K, 2K, things like that. But man, shipping is so expensive, you guys. All right, so right here, I don't know what I should have. Oh, let me finish up first. I'm talking, I talk so much in these videos. That's why they're 40 minutes long. Cheyenne, I gotta do Cheyenne first. Where's Cheyenne's envelope? Here it is, I found it. $7. I'm gonna get the $2 bill that was hiding in here. Where is it? Oh, I must have stuffed it somewhere. So five, six, seven, going into Cheyenne's envelope. There we go. And Canva I put in my business binder and will be taking Canva out of my business binder, my business money. So that is zero. So I guess what I should do is add this up before I bring Farm Boy in. He doesn't have to be in here for this part. You guys can help me do this part. Okay, so 106 plus 10. Two hundred and thirty-six dollars. Two thirty-six. And then so we have to do we have to add up fifty-one plus ten equals negative sixty-one. Is that right? So to get my total of what this is, I have to take out I have to take three sixty-seven. 367 minus 236. 236 equals 131? No, no, wait. Yeah, that's what this is. This should be, I need like a place to write that, 131. So this should be 131, right? 10, 25, 35, 45, 55. So we got 55, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, uh-oh, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 80, no, <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, you guys, <laughs> I need farm boy. Farm boy, 
Okay, farm boy, I got a complicated stuff here. What do you mean? So here's the $10 from, hey everybody, it's farm boy. Hello everyone. This is the $10 from greens. Okay. This is 20, <laughs> 30, 40, 51 dollars that i owed you because i went over in groceries okay so that is 61 dollars altogether i have to give you so since i went over in groceries and had to take out of this week to pay for last week i couldn't stuff 157 i stuffed 106 right and so that is a negative 51 yep okay so how do i do from here so it's this all is right. 236, that's yep. 61. So how do I figure out what this is? What do I add in together and do? Don't I take 367? Don't I take 236 from 367? No, you're still going to do the 297. But that's not what's there. Well, let's see, 297. So you got this kind of, so this is right. All this okay. part is right. Okay. Okay, but you're going to add. This is just my normal amount that's that I stuff. your normal amount. Mm -hmm. The problem is that you don't actually have this amount. This amount you do have, or yeah, this amount you do have, right? Yes. For your plants. So you have that, but you don't have this. Oh, so maybe I shouldn't have done this here. I should have just done it in my envelope. I should have just done the normal thing here and just took it out of Afterwards, my... Afterwards, maybe. But this is okay. It still so works. So how would we work this out? I think in the future, if this ever happens so, again, which I hope it doesn't, I will do this normal, and then I'll just take the 50, subtract the 50 okay. out of my so wallet 360, tracker. So 367. Yeah. You don't oh. punch in your calculator. Three. No, that's a six. 367. Minus 236. Minus 236. Minus. Minus. 51. 51. That was what I missed. Equals. Equals 80. And I'll see if that's your, if that's I believe that was 80. 10, 20, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 80. There you go. Okay. And you got your money, right? I I guess. You gave me money. Yeah. I didn't want to, but I went over in Costco, so I had to. Remember we talked about that last week? You were going to save and not... You were going to put extra money in your groceries last week. I can't. But you weren't going to save it because you didn't... What are you talking about? Because you had extra money from the week when you didn't go grocery shopping at all. No, I saved it. <laughs> we spent it on game night... That was supposed to go. Uh, into, uh, uh, <laughs> that was supposed to go into groceries. Well, next. I need it for so. game night. What do I do? We need to play games, not eat. Okay, so now this is eighty dollars right here, you guys. Farm boy doesn't understand these things. I just need more money. I need a raise, you guys. Or the world needs to be cheaper. It's too expensive. So now we have 80, $28 plus 80. 80 plus 28 equals 108. Now see, this feels dumb, you guys. 108. Here I am talking about how everything's so expensive and I don't have enough money for groceries in my grocery envelope because truly $157 isn't cutting it. But look. I have, a, I have $108 for leftover between the money I received that I don't stuff in my wallet that's for sinking funds, but I play with it in savings challenges first. That is um, whatever it is. I can't remember the amount. Is $80? Yeah, $80. And then the 28 so technically I have extra money for a grocery, so I shouldn't complain. I'm thankful for what the Lord has given us. Let's count this and make sure it's 108, 10, 20, 30, 40, plus five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 
1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. 108. It is correct. I feel really, I'm feeling very convicted for complaining, you guys, because I should not complain. The Lord has provided plenty of money for food. I need to be a better shopper. I need to plan my meals better. We Right now, we're eating very convenient stuff that costs more. And I need to do better in that area. But I, I'm so thankful that I have this money to save. And I don't know what else I'm going to say. <laughs> and since I haven't been doing my savings challenges, I look like I got a huge loot here, don't I? I show you guys my mysterious envelope. Farm Boy won't show you his. But I show you mine because you're my besties. And look at mine. <laughs> this is because I haven't been doing my Monday minis, my Taco Tuesdays, my savings challenge books. I got a lot of money. I need to plug it in. I'm just trying to do the best I can with the brain I got, you guys. <laughs> um, I can't guarantee that I'll have any savings challenge videos up this week. Uh, when you see this video, the week of the 17th, um, I, I don't know what will be going on this week. <laughs> I will be finishing up my 1K and I'll be having Farm Boy help me making decisions with the 2K so that it's things are more grouped together rather than individual um, 27 individual hashtags with it's, it's a lot of work you guys <laughs> so I'm gonna listen to my husband and I'm going to group things and maybe do a handful of hashtags of grouped things so maybe three to five prizes and they'll be grouped up I don't really like doing that but I see the logic in it and then I would have more time to <laughs> plan my meals, clean my house, spend time with my daughter, <laughs> and all that kind of stuff. Okay, guys, thanks for being here. Thanks for coming along with me as you see a 56-year-old lady <laughs> learning these things for the first time in her life. I'm still on training wheels, you guys, still. I don't know if I'll ever get off the training wheels, but I'm happy to at least be on the training wheels before I was doing nothing. I was being carried all the way with Farm Boy, and he can't do that, because what if something happens and he dies? We're getting old. <laughs> so, so I need to learn this, so in case he dies, I am not in a extremely bad position. <laughs> I'm already in a bad position if he did die right now, but... The Lord would take care of me. I know that. I trust that. But it's still scary. And I think that I still need to do what I ought to do now to be prepared for the future. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great Monday. And I will see you all in the next video. Maybe it will be Friday night game night. Ooh, ooh. Or maybe I'll be crazy and do it savings challenge book video or something i'm not sure what's going to happen next week but i'll see you sometime have a great week bye guys